For this mission, we are flying a record 64 satellites for our customer's spaceflight. This is the largest number of payloads ever launched from a US-based rocket. This flight is also particularly exciting for SpaceX for another reason. We'll be flying this Falcon 9 booster for the third time. Now this is the first time we've ever done this, which we'll talk more about later on in the webcast. Following the liftoff, we have two recovery attempts. First, we are attempting to land Falcon 9's first stage on our autonomous spaceport drone ship, just read the instructions, which is situated in the ocean 50 kilometers away from the launch pad. The second recovery attempt will be to catch our payload fairing with a large net on our boat, Mr. Steven, as that fairing descends down over the Pacific Ocean after separating from the second stage. Stage one, pressing for flight. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower and is now headed upward on its mission to sun-synchronous low-Earth orbit. Coming up, the rocket will throttle down for Max-Q, which, re which represents the maximum aerodynamic stress on the rocket. We're now headed into a series of events that will occur in rapid succession. That's MECO, stage separation, and SES-1, or second engine start one. MECO is the shutdown of all nine first stage engines in preparation for stage separation, or stage two, separates from stage one, and SES-1 is the ignition of the second stage engine. And back chills begin. Following SES-1, we will turn our attention back to the returning first stage, which will relight three of its engines in a boost back burn to head back towards the drone ship. And then finally, we'll see ferried fairing deployment at T plus two minutes and 43 seconds. As mentioned earlier in this webcast, we're attempt attempting to recover the payload fairing, and while we may not have a live video feed of this attempt, we'll share updates as they become available. So in about 20 seconds, you'll hear the call out from Miko. Let's listen in. As you just saw, we had a successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, as well as ignition of that second stage engine. And there goes that fairing. And there you can see all 64 of those satellites on stage two headed to sun-synchronous orbit. Just a few seconds, we'll be initiating the re-entry burn. Uh, this is designed to slow the rocket down as it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. Then just a couple minutes later, we'll perform the final burn, also known as the landing burn, and that will decelerate the vehicle to a gentle landing atop of our drone ship. So there's the visual confirmation of that re-entry burn. This will last for another 10 seconds. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now that re-entry burn has ended, we have less than a minute until that third and final landing burn will happen, followed by Stage a touchdown. One has As they become available. Uh, we're certainly excited to hear about it here in Hawthorne as, um, and across all of SpaceX as this is the third time, the first time that we have are trying to land us for a third time. So there we can see that final landing burn happening. We'll be looking for deployment of the landing legs here momentarily.